Josh. He's got his 2013. Yes. Subaru uh, WRX. What's done to it so far? Uh, it's got a cold air intake, a aluminum race radiator from Mishimoto, a upgraded blow-off valve, and then a three-inch catalyst downpipe. Okay. And a turbo up, just the rest of the exhaust. And uh, have you done any suspension mods? Uh, it's on BC coilovers. Nice. It sounds really good. <laughs> that pull-out sounds so good. Yes, I love it. So, uh, how long you have the car? Uh, I've had it for about four years now. And I know you told me, what was that thing that happened after you bought it? Uh, somebody hit it in a parking lot. Okay. The month, literally the one month after owning the car, somebody hit it in a parking lot. And then about a year after that, uh, the infamous Cylinder 3 decided to start rod knocking. <laughs> so it's got a Damn. new motor, okay. a brand new transmission, new clutch. It's basically a new car. So you're probably never going to get rid of this thing? Probably not. How long ago did you put in the new engine in trance? Eight, nine thousand miles ago. So oh, it's so it's like, fresh. yeah, it's like brand new. And you only have 83 on the chassis? Yeah. I gotta talk about this. Now, how many miles did you get the car when the motor blew? Uh, so I got the car at 42,000. Okay. And it blew at 73. And you did like the regular maintenance and everything? Yeah, I did all the regular maintenance. I did all the oil changes early. I did them all at 3,000 miles. Run full synthetic through the car. That sucks. Done all the spark plugs, the timing belt, everything. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's a Subaru. Yeah, <laughs> it, just what happens. it happens. It definitely just happens. Do you do all the work on the car yourself? Uh, yes, usually I do, but for the motor, I did not. Well, I nice. sent it to Subaru to do it, so it came with a warranty. Oh, you did it from a dealer? Yeah, and then when it got home, I put all the parts back on it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Was it warranty? Uh, yeah, I got a, a year warranty on the motor now, so okay. like if it blows up within a year. But they didn't. They didn't replace it for free. No, I had to oh, pay. Man. The motor alone was like thirty-five hundred dollars, and then it was about another three grand to have them put it in. So all in all, how much did it cost to get the whole trans and the engine swap back in? So the motor alone was sixty-five hundred, and then the trans was three grand, and then the clutch was a thousand. Jeez. So, a lot of money, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see why you know about this. My wallet's still hurting from that. Yeah. I, I don't blame you for wanting to keep this for a long, long time. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get rid of it. It's really fun around the turns. It really it's is. It's really grippy. What tires are you running? Uh, just some Kumos. They're not the best, but honestly, they're pretty good. I honestly think it's really the all-wheel drive that makes the biggest difference. I think so, too. It feels like we're flying right now. I mean, kind of are. enough it was actually back in 2013 I wanted a 2013 oh man that's cool so when my dad's friend that worked at a Subaru dealership said they had a 2013 come in for trade I went test drove it ended up liking it it was a good car so I ended up buying it <laughs> nice ended up with my dream car right out of high school that's awesome man most people can't say the same yeah it was definitely definitely got lucky with it for sure what is all this on the interior you hydro dipped it you said yeah hydro dipped it uh, last week pretty sick yeah it's a pretty crazy design I decided to add some color to the inside of the car and you have a stock like shifter no short throw or anything like uh, that? it's actually got the STI short throw shifter in it nice and then just the upgraded clutch too but that doesn't really do anything <laughs> <laughs> what kind of clutch did you say you had an ACT yeah it's got an ACT six puck heavy-duty clutch Damn. good for close to 
close to 600 foot pounds of torque. And this is making about? This is probably making close to 300 torque. And about? 300 horsepower. Okay, cool. Pretty even. Are you going to build the motor and all that? Yes, eventually when I can uh, afford to build one because it is very expensive. Oh yeah. Or at least the route I want to go with the car, it's very expensive. So what's the goal? Close to a thousand. Jesus. <laughs> so just like a drag car? Yeah, it's going to be basically turn it into a track car. So okay. A fun track car or something to do on the weekends. Like waste track or drag strip? Or both. Both? Okay. Try to set it up for both if I can. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know how many thousand horsepower Subarus I've seen. Those are uh... I've only heard of a couple. <laughs> That's why I want to do Pretty far it. a few between. That's definitely yeah. unique. I think it is doable, but it is a lot of money. So you got it four years old for 22 yeah 22 four out the door okay that's not bad at all first time in the subi um everything feels pretty good actually this is why i don't take everyone's reviews online like you know red line reviews and all these guys that do like brand new cars Stuff. i like to take the perspective of a driver so somebody that actually enjoys driving the cars yes exactly that's this is really what it is it's just a driver's car low-end torque <laughs> <laughs> it does so with this upgraded clutch it's real short on the shifts yeah you barely have to push it in i know it feels really good yeah it's weird it takes everybody a minute to get used to that because it's like you barely have to tap it and it like disengages the clutch where you can shift and i actually like this car holy crap yeah it's pretty, this is pretty nice <laughs> damn it's a nice little cruiser but then when you want to get on it it's there. <laughs> I just love the noises. Right? <laughs> it corners really well, too. Dude, it I'm does. like, everything feels effortless right now. I'm not like doing too much steering it, input. It honestly, it feels like the car asks for a lot more. I know, this is cool. I like this thing. And then when I had, because uh, I used to have Super Sports on here, some Michelins. Yeah. And that was. Even better? It was so much better. I'm sure they grip way better than the Kumos. Oh, they do. So much better. It even picks up so much in higher gears. It does. It has no real lag. Corners so well, dude. I'm gonna scare the heck out of them. It picks up so well. It dude. does. I love 
love this thing. It has, uh, it's, uh, it's got like a very linear power band, so it's pretty constant on the pull. Oh yeah. Damn, this thing corners really well. This thing moves, man. It does. I like it. And you don't really realize how fast you're going sometimes. Yeah, there's really something that like these little like turbo four cylinders, like WRX STIs, uh, Focus STs, Fiesta STs, GTIs, like. Yeah. Granted, all those are front wheel drive, and this is, feels oh. better because it's all wheel drive. But I did drive the Focus RS, and um, you can definitely tell the difference between like the 50-50 split versus front wheel drive like 80% of the time and rear wheel drive only when you need it. This this feels a lot better. I'm actually really comfy right now. The AC is blasting. Just chilling. <laughs> This is awesome. The turning feels pretty good. So the steering's pretty direct. I can see you swaying back there, sorry. <laughs> no, no worries. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah. Have you driven this thing? Yes. Do you like it? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> is it easy to drive? Uh, the, the clutch got, it was just, it took a little get, getting used to for me. Right. I'm used to just simple, like daily driver stick. True, true. So, well, and I drove a 300 a couple of times as well. 300 GX? Yeah. Ooh! I just want to like blast these roads so bad, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so much fun. It is hard not to. I really like the shifter. You got the, it said the STI shifter in here? Yeah, it's the STI short throw. This is nice. I can't get over how good this is to drive. It's honestly, it, not to be like a hater or anything, but I've never driven a Subaru before, like a WRX, and I haven't driven an Evo either. Yeah. Um, all my all-wheel drive experiences mainly come from like Audi, you know, just all the German shit. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting too much coming into this, but every t the time you gave me a ride before, I, I knew it had something to it. Yeah. But now driving it, I'm like, yeah, I can definitely see why people fall in love with these things. Driving it is a whole different feeling from riding in the passenger seat. It's so much fun, man. Yeah, these BCs, they ride pretty well. Yeah, I actually have them set up kind of stiff. <laughs> yes. Oh, almost missed third there. <laughs> it's, oh, yeah, when I first got used to it, it's weird because it's so close. Yeah, this thing moves, man. It really does. I love it. I just love the rumble, man. The exhaust sounds yes. so good. It, honestly, when I picked out this exhaust and I put it on I was ever since from the first time I started it in the driveway I was in love with the sound that it made yeah this thing is awesome like I'm in fourth gear and it, it picks up so much yeah I think it starts to <laughs> I think it starts to spool the turbo right around three right yeah, around 3,000 rpm that's what it feels like it just turns it so well yes I can't wait to take this thing on a road course it's gonna be fun I would imagine pretty solid in the turns. It does. I think the suspension's really doing its job right now. It is. Um, eventually, I'm actually looking at getting the upgraded sway bars and control arms and stuff like that to make it feel even even tighter in the corners, you know? Yeah. Get a little more adjustment out of it so I can control how I want it to handle. Oh, this is solid. It feels so confidence inspiring in the turns. It, yeah. Cause I just want to keep going harder. It, you can feel when the car doesn't want more and it, you can tell when it wants you to give it a little more in the corner. Yeah. Because you can feel it get unsettled. I'm telling you, man, if these things are just a little bit more reliable, I, I'd probably buy one. If you're just rolling on throttle slowly and just cruising. <laughs> so good. That and the sounds. Yeah. It's fun to just cruise this thing around town and just listen to yeah. it. Yeah, brakes work pretty good too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she'll stop. <laughs> they're they're upgraded, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Forgot how much torque you have down low. Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> there's third. That was easy. Yeah, it's real close. It's like just a quick little push up and it falls right into it. Right yeah, into I was trying to like handle that shit. Before. You try to like move it over just a little bit, it misses. Man, you can take these turns at such high speeds. Yeah, you can. Yeah, definitely. Still, it took some 
time, that's for sure, but it was every, definitely worth it, worth the wait, yeah, the money. Yeah, every good project takes time and no worries. Yeah, that's for sure. Alright, so, here's the thing, this is why I mentioned interior. Everyone always gets so butthurt about the interior. When I'm driving like that, I'm de just looking dead on ahead, I'm not looking at my gauges or anything, I'm just looking at the tack to see when to shift. Yeah. And it's not like I'm sitting there while I'm driving like that thinking, Oh, look at this hard touch plastic and stuff. Where's the German leather? Like, no one gives a shit about Where's that. Where's the leather? Is it real? Is yeah, it fake? Yeah, no one cares about that. These seats are holding me in pretty nicely right now for the driving I'm doing. And it's just fun to go through the gears. I'm wearing a harness, so I'm sitting in pretty good. Yeah. The brakes work really well. Turning feels awesome. Steering feels pretty good. Just all around an awesome car. And that's the thing, like, everything works in here. Nothing's breaking. Yeah. There's no, like, you know... I've been in, like, some like German cars that have like 100,000 miles on them and like the window switch is broken and like the climate control like the switcher's like stuck it doesn't work I'm like what? doesn't like the move so much yeah. for German quality like what is this I'm sure it all depends on who takes care of the car but I mean yeah exactly just want to see something real quick So before I end the video, I just wanted to add this in. The symmetrical all-wheel drive system is 50-50, so it sends 50% of the power to the front and 50% of power to the rear. Now, this gives you the ultimate false sense of confidence that you can possibly have when being behind the wheel of one of these. I was pushing this car harder than I would push most cars on this road in the street. And that's because the all-wheel drive system gives you this insane sense of confidence. But like I said, a lot of times it's a false sense of confidence. You can feel when the car is at its limit and there's a lot of times where the car it feels like it wants you to give it more even though it's getting really close to the limit i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys on the next one don't forget to keep living life at max speed peace